Hey Shapers, this is Nick with Aku Shaper, and um, in this tutorial today I'm just going to cover a few uh, quick tips when using a ghost board. A ghost board is used to overlay an image of an existing board over your new design to basically try to replicate or copy, mimic um, parts of the board um, from a different design into a new design. So I'm just going to show you a few tips um, when working with a ghost board here. So here we are in the shaper. Let's start with a new shape. And um, I think we'll just go with a 6-0 short board, keep it simple. So perfect, so I have my board here. Um, and basically what I wanna do is try to copy this into um, this other board I have. So what I'm gonna do once I have my, uh, starting with my new design here is I'm gonna do a file um, and open up the uh, ghost board option. So then I'm just going to select the board that I have. Um, this is the one I'm trying to replicate. It's got a bit more of a rounded nose. Um, so I just kind of want to move through that. So it's a little off screen right now. So I'm just going to zoom out so we can get the whole thing in here. And then um, what I can do is I can size this up to like 6'4", what have you, to kind of get it inside the ghost board here. Um, but there's also another tip you can do here. So just put it back to 6'0", zoom out. And then I, you can actually move the ghost board along the shape um, into, you can move it into position. And, and how you do that is you hold the G key down and use your arrows to start to position the ghost board into a better overlay here. So you can also move the ghost board down to kind of get it up along the, uh, the outer rail line. Um, so yeah, again, that's the G key and the arrow keys. And once you do that, um, if you want to reset it, you just go ahead and hit the zero key and that'll put it right back into position. So G and arrows, and then the zero key will reposition it. So when working with the ghost board, something else you might want to check are the dimensions of the ghost board um, to compare it to the shape that you're currently working on. And again, uh, that's just holding down the G key. Uh, most of the ghost board functions are used with the, uh, the G key on your keyboard. So holding down the G key, you'll see the dimensions of the ghost board displayed here. So then you can begin to replicate this. So obviously 19 and a half is my current board. 21 is the ghost. Um, so that might be used to kind of size out the width, um, especially if you have like a magic board that you're kind of trying to size down or size up for a different customer or for yourself or whatnot. And then, yeah, um, in the slices tab, you also have the ghost board displayed as well. And if you ever need tips when working with the ghost board, you can go ahead and go in and do um, keyboard shortcuts. And just take a look at uh, some of the ghost board um, keys in here. So when working in the slices tab, um, what you can go ahead and do is use the G tab and the space key. So I'm going to hold down G and I'm going to use the space key to basically show the slices of my ghost board. And this is pretty useful if you're trying to get a quick image of how your current board overlays into the ghost. So if you're trying to replicate a rail here, um, this would be the best way to do it. And um, again, that's the G in the space and that'll cycle through. And that's just a couple quick tips when working with a ghost board here. Um, if you have any questions or comments or want some additional training, just uh, shoot us an email at support at akushaper.com or uh, give us a call. Phone number's on our website. All right, thanks.